working. We're on. We're rolling. I have I'm, I have not had any coffee before I'm about to do this. <laughs> Just gotta get hyped up. Hello. Uh, today we are headed on a very exciting road trip. I almost forgot what that was called. <laughs> road trip. We are headed to Buffalo. This, wait. This no. We're not going to Buffalo. We're going through Buffalo. We We're are headed to Buffalo. Victor near Rochester. Yes, to Eastview Mall to visit Von Mauer, where Ponyback is currently in. So a long time ago, we've done a few videos on getting ready for this retailer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and I've been meaning to go there, but with COVID and just different life things, it hasn't happened until now. So today we're making the trek across the border, and maybe we'll do a little shopping. <laughs> And ask like, what exactly type of store is Von Mauer? Do you want to do that there? I mean, I think it'd be fun to do it now because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stacy, what type of store is Von Mauer? Um, I actually have no idea. I don't know if it's like Hudson's Bay. Like, okay, so we're Canadian. <laughs> if you're watching this and you are in the U.S., we are Canadian, and we do not have a Von Ma Mauer, obviously, in Canada. Uh, and so I don't know. I don't know. I, okay, this morning I had this thought of like, what if this is a really fancy department store? But then I thought, wait, no, they're selling baseball hats. So like, <laughs> it can't be that fancy. I don't know. Do stores ever have like dress codes where you need to like be dressed a certain way? I don't think so. I would hope not because we're not going to get in if that's we the case. We are not going to get in, no. No. I have my ripped jeans and hat on. I have shorts. I mean, we are going to a store to visit our hats. So, but I, th I think it would be like a Hudson's Bay. We just arrived to Von Mauer. I guess you can't really show from like right this ankle. She'll get it. She'll get footage of that in a second. But we arrived at the Eastview Mall. It took us. Did it take us twice as long to get here as we thought it was going to? Um, only because both of us had on our phone settings to avoid toll roads. <laughs> so we took the scenic detour through the country. Yeah, we we also were at the border for like an oh, hour. The border took forever. Yes, we decided to come do this trip on a holiday, on Canada Day, which was probably dumb. But that's what it worked for my schedule. <laughs> so we made it happen. Anyways, but our trip took twice as long but it was like very scenic nice roads wasn't mm -hmm. it it was yeah it was beautiful i'm starving let's go eat all right let's do it let's do it i also realized that i'm gonna feel awkward again while we're out in public and you have a video camera filming me the whole time <laughs> stacy gets stage great. fright great <laughs> Okay. You can open my own doors. Own. You're on your own. Door gets slammed in your face. Were you also recording that? Yes. Oh my god. Oh well, there's no sign for like food. Center court, main court, food court. Okay, it's by the um JC Penny. Okay. Let's go find food JC Penny's that way. Having an angry moment. You guys want Stacy energy. It's not gonna have to after this food. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're stopping for lunch because Stacy got to eat. Um, I'm trying out this place. I got the um, chicken garlic poke bowl. I am very excited. It looks and smells delicious. So, bon appetit. We're here. Okay, well, we have arrived. We're just doing our initial like analysis of store before we go in because neither of us have never ever been to a Von Mauer before. It feels very Hudson's Bay for us Canadians. Um, we're gonna go we're gonna go try to find the hats. I feel like we try to go find the hats before we, we before we see the store manager like see if okay. we can figure out where they are. Cool. Like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go find hats. If I were a hat, if I were a hat I would the women be department. Yeah there's like sporty stuff over there. Casual sportswear? That, what is that, that, that way? That way. Oh, yeah. Bougie. <laughs> okay, so we're on the 
search for our hats. We made it to the like athletic Betrayal. So, do they even have our hat here? Because wouldn't you agree they would be right beside where our competitors would be sitting? <laughs> yes. Hmm? What did she say? She's just paging another you store go, manager. You go right ahead. <laughs> okay, guys, have the fruit. Oh, right. Right. So we have it all here on display. Awesome. Look at um, that. Kind of incorporate a couple cute. other brands in with it just to kind of make like a summer statement. Fantastic. Yeah. What styles are they carrying? So they have um, the sporty fit and some everyday fit. Um, they have any adventure fits? No. Okay. No, they just have the everyday fit. Looks like they have two everyday fits and the sporty and then the khaki colors. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's so cool. Okay. Uh, I'm just, I can't believe they put it just. I'm sure they only did this because we were coming today, but. <laughs> I don't know. Here it is. I put it in the bag already. It's super cute. It's yeah, very cute. I feel like now we're just getting in the way of potentially shopping. I really like these sunglasses. Are these going to be like a million? Are you doing more shopping? I don't want to spend $180 on sunglasses. But you can try them on. <laughs> Did you not? I thought we were going to be like tucked in a corner. Yeah, like on that shelf down there. We're like, we're right next to the cash register. We want to make some TikTok videos. Of course. Anyway, I better ponytail this. Don't you think? I agree. All right, pony high and ready. Okay, so we will need to chat with the people. Yeah. And so this is their big like claim to fame, the magnetic back. Oh, so you works. can put your uh, ponytail. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Or you can gosh. just wear it with your hair down. You're a perfect then, advertisement. <laughs> yes, well, we are both walking advertisements. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Do you get hats. a lot of people that ask you about the hats when you wear them? Uh, I get a few compliments every now yeah. and then. I think but whenever someone sees you like go from wearing your hair down to up and if you do that part in public then you would get attention <laughs> you're like what just happened so i've had a few customers who will say that at like a sporting event they'll have their hair down and then they go to put their hair up and then like you know the person behind them's like wait what where did you get your hat <laughs> yeah it's so pretty yeah yeah so cool so thank so you so nice to meet you yeah now. you as well <laughs> thank you all right wow, like a very warm reception yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. We should probably get to making our TikToks now, don't you think? I agree. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do we want to go figure this out in Nada such as? Yep. <laughs> yes, we do. Let's go find a cove. Time to plan some it's TikToks. <laughs> I'm thinking about my TikToks. So there's no good. It's very yellow. Be your tripod. Okay, perfect. So, what is the overall feeling of your hats being in a US retailer? Uh, it feels pretty cool. I mean, like, they gave us some royal treatment. We got here, and the store manager took us to this display. And I mean, we first found some competitive product, like, tucked away in a corner. And we thought that we weren't even going to be in the store, but then we came up to this. And then they were so sweet. They've gone, like, above and beyond to, like, just make us feel really welcome. And it's really special like I don't know it feels very surreal because I don't know I kind of they've made me feel like a big deal I guess <laughs> but I don't I don't feel like a big deal so but kind of it's a weird feeling uh, but it's cool sorry I'm rambling but that's just how all the thoughts are coming out right now <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where she went. Yeah, amazing. Okay, thank you, guys. Oh, okay, you're so you. welcome. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Take care. Take care. Yeah. 
I guess what stands out for me, are we, are we still filming? Yep. Is that like every week I get the sales report, I'm like, we were just in that section, right? Like there's so many options and it's, people every single week are buying pony back hats and buying mower stores. But they're finding them like in the store. Like, isn't that crazy? I think I just like hit me even more now. Christine, say something. <laughs> no, it is, it's definitely cool. Especially how quickly it happened, right? Yeah. Like two years ago, we always talk about you're in your basement and like now you're in a major US retail store. <laughs> Craziness. 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 That's a thing for white shoes. I think I we both do. Many pairs. I have a pair like that. <laughs> Okay, well, that is a wrap for being at Von Mauer. We filmed some TikToks, we chatted with the store associates, we chatted with the store manager. So anyway, this was, again, a really amazing experience. Thank you so much, Von Mauer, at the Eastview Mall in Victor. We had a great time. Thank you, so being, thank you for being so kind. This is a special day. Can I really, can I have two Starbucks in one day? I think you can. Do we just not tell my husband? <laughs> and hope he doesn't watch the video. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do it. Alright. Are you gonna have a second one? Oh, gosh, Can you no. do that for your no. tank? No. Uh, do I get a decaf? What time of day is it? Uh, I don't know, I do have a lot of driving still today. You do. Like five hours. <laughs> I'm trying not to think about that. I'm worried about going to even to go to the washroom. Yeah, but we can always stop. Yeah. And also I did not buy my first Starbucks, you bought it for me. So yeah, it's like you can totally get a second one. We have other things, not caffeine. You need to get something. I'm okay. It's on me. I'm okay. Stacy got mad at me this morning because I bought her Starbucks. <laughs> it's terrible. We didn't get Starbucks. No, we didn't. The line was too long. I refused. Sadness. Well, there's still a lot of road trip left. <laughs> So we could pass some more Starbucks, Christine. We could. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna film alone in the car with my phone, even though this is Christine hates when I do this. It's not good enough quality. Anyways, I thought we would just have a little moment for uh, things we learned about going on a field trip. A field trip. Okay, so clearly she was a teacher. Um, Wait, did they get my permission to bring sign? <laughs> Things we've learned about going on our first pony bag road trip. Number one, Christine and Stacey cannot be trusted with the correct settings in Google Maps in order to make it to the destination appropriately. On the way there, we had our default set to avoid toll roads because we are both cheap. <laughs> and on a typical day, we don't want to use toll roads. We don't normally want to use the tolls. Yeah. So but we didn't change that setting. So we drew, were on our road trip. Uh, we forgot to change the setting and added it. Like, how, mu how much longer do you think we added? Well, not including the border, it was like two hours and 20 minutes, I'd say. Well, what it said it was supposed to be two hours and 20 minutes, and this ride was supposed to be one hour and <laughs> like 35 minutes. Yeah, so added a little bit of extra time, just a little, um, because we took the very, very scenic tour to Von Mauer through the country. It's beautiful. The country of New York State. Yeah. The beautiful country properties we drove through. And I guess, I, I don't know about you guys, but I have never really been to the United States to go touring through the countryside. That's just, you know, you go to the United States, you're going to a big center for like a sports game or the airport or the mall and so you're not going through the country um so it was nice yeah uh what else did we learn today not to believe google maps when it says oh, yes. the border is only eight minutes yeah. of a week <laughs> we were checking out the times and trying to decide which bridge we wanted to cross on and google was telling us the border wait time was going to be eight minutes but it was an hour so that was, do not plan a road trip to go visit 
a department store for pony bag on a national holiday. Both, both countries. Both countries having their national holiday all around the same time. Just don't avoid it. Yeah. Avoid it. My husband actually had one. He's like, Mom, you're, like, you're crazy. You're gonna go on Canada. I'm like, it's gonna be fine. We're going at nine in the morning. It didn't matter. I guess everyone had the same idea. Everyone else had the same idea. Well, if we could leave early enough, we should be able to beat everybody. No, no people are early. About like six a.m. Yeah, you time. need to leave very early if you want to beat the traffic. We skip this week. <laughs> yeah, we skip this week. Skip the Starbucks. Um, I learned Christine is very sneaky. <laughs> I thought I. Uh, I fully wasn't. Except you, right? Wait there. Sorry. Chill, lock. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> uh, Christine is sneaky. I wanted to pay for our Starbucks because Christine's employed by Ponybag and like this is a road trip. Ponybag needs to pay for the Starbucks, but Christine insisted on paying. So I'm trying to like reload my phone so I have enough on my app. And while I am trying to do that, she just snuck in there and paid. She always buys the Starbucks. It was I was using for it. Excuses. Are no, it's it's are gonna no be the last opportunity I have because you're never gonna let me drive anywhere when we're getting Starbucks ever again. So that is correct. Yeah. So yes, Christina's sneaky toll roads, yeah. border crossing. I feel like that pretty much sums it up. That was our entire learning to from watching. both kind of depleted at the moment, I think. <laughs> it's been a long day and we're both introverts, so. Time to sit in the car quietly for the next hour. Yeah, we're just gonna turn, we're, after this, we're gonna shut it all down. There will be nothing else happening, just Stacy and Christine sitting in silence for the rest of the trip. <laughs> uh, we'll check in with you guys when we get back. Bye. Driving is not done, technically. Uh, just met up with Christine here, and now I'm headed home. So I've got about another hour and a half to drive, so my road trip continues now solo. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's kind of our episode. It's just gonna be me by myself, so it won't be as entertaining. So, thank you guys for joining us on our trip to Von Mauer. Super exciting that we're in a retail store. Um, thank you for your support because if you weren't here supporting us, we would not have that opportunity. So pretty cool, full, full circle moment. Anyways, thanks for joining guys. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.